Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss a very important topic which is intermediate document IDOC. So uh, this uh, session will be I mean useful for the functional consultant uh, and technical and fresher and I mean for everybody uh, who wants to explain uh, the and understand the IDOC in better way. So let's start. Uh, intermediate document which is IDOC so I mean as the name suggests intermediate document so uh, I have uh, tried to explain with the help of uh, um, our communication which happens day to day basis uh, through mobile phones and uh, the companies uh, they talk to each other while they do the transaction so if you see the left side of the image uh, here um, someone is sending a message hi Lisa and uh, it is typed on your machine uh, I mean on your mobile and uh, that goes to uh, one um, a local um, um, a mobile tower and uh, there is a centralized uh, a messaging system that uh, understands uh, who is the recipient of the message and uh, then it routes to the local tower and finally the message is delivered to uh, other mobile phone so in the same fashion if you look uh, now on the right side uh, suppose there is a company in us and uh, they want to buy some material uh, from a company in china so uh, the company uh, who is uh, going to uh, send the message uh, uh, I mean IDOC uh, to the vendor in China so uh, here you see uh, some purchase order number ending with the 240 and uh, line item 10 20 material 20 kg material 50 kg so the PO is uh, generated um, uh, in the um, company which is in US and uh, the PO is uh, sent out from SAP system to a middleware tool and that middleware tool uh, reads uh, who is the recipient I mean who is the vendor and uh, that middleware tool delivers the message uh, to the vendor in China so the Chinese company uh, receives the message so uh, the purchase order from the sender company becomes the sales order in the um, I mean vendor company because they have to uh, sell that good uh, to the um, I mean uh, the sender company so this is the analogy uh, from a mobile phone and uh, the communication happening on the right side uh, from uh, uh, SAP company to non SAP or SAP to SAP uh, through a middleware tool so in short um, if anything is sent out from SAP or received into SAP uh, as a document is known as intermediate document IDOC and it can be any sales order delivery invoice billing I mean any document uh, you can um, send and receive through uh, IDOCs Again here I have uh, tried to explain uh, the IDOC in simple simplest way. So uh, suppose uh, you want to send a letter to your friend. So your address will be there as a sender address and your friend's address will be as a receiver address. And uh, there will be some uh, content in the letter. You will say uh, dear blah 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 how are you and uh, long time no see and uh, the message will end and um, if you try to post this uh, letter uh, via some uh, special delivery then you will get the status whether it was delivered or not so in the same fashion um, IDOC is arranged so IDOC is basically a collection of several segments uh, mainly three segments so one is a control record another is data record and finally third is status record so control record defines uh, contains the information who is the sender and who is the receiver and the data record contains all the data relevant to that particular document 
in my case i am discussing purchase order which is outbound so if you see there is uh, there are segments like e1 ed k01 and uh, the, the from the uh, second bottom e1 ed p01 so k01 was header and here p01 is the uh, line item so uh, as of now in this document i have highlighted uh, the header segment so if you see here on the uh, on the right side uh, the the field says banner and this is the actual purchase order number so on the left side if you see again control record data records and finally finally in the bottom is status record so status will uh, tell you the messages whether it was passed to the port or some uh, um, problem happened uh, some uh, error has happened uh, which uh, you will analyze in case of uh, the status is read or document was not delivered so the uh, idoc records i mean the segment uh, uh, whole document is broken into several segments so from header then text and schedule line item uh, partner details and line item details so message is broken into several segments and this bundle goes out in forms of idoc or it can be received in this format from other system as a inbound idoc i'll do a practical how they are triggered and um, what are the basic uh, configuration so mainly in this discussion i am discussing the outbound idoc but in uh, another video i'll discuss uh, the inbound idoc so the idoc triggering point in most of the cases for outbound idocs is the output type okay so uh, you you have seen when you create the document uh, so output type is triggered based on the condition uh, records condition technique which you have uh, configured in the uh, schema and uh, condition records so in my case so there is a purchase order which is ending with the 401 so i have just created this purchase order and uh, from the um, output determination uh, the output type is picked as zidc okay so that you can see from the messages okay so if i again go there messages so this is my um, output type which is picked and medium is 6 okay so this output type zidc uh, medium 6 means edi generate the idog okay so this is purchase order so the i uh, outbound idog will be generated in my case so uh, here in mn04 i have maintained the uh, output type which is zidc and uh, for uh, purchase group and vendor uh, for this combination z07 and vendor uh, 824 if i go there so this is maintained as a condition record and uh, this vendor for this vendor i am creating the purchase order if you see the purchase order see this is 24 okay 824 so if i go to messages the condition uh, type uh, uh, this zidc is being selected and um, uh, in this this condition record i have said uh, that uh, the medium will be the medium will be 6 which is idoc okay now uh, edi okay so this output type will trigger the idoc which i am going to explain you in the next video everything i'll summarize how the idoc is triggered what are other configuration which we have to do thank you very much